Well, since then, a lot of us have been speculating that the NBA was going to, you know, levy hand out a very serious punishment uh, to John Morant. And um, some of us, some of us are just speculating that maybe the NBA is waiting for the NBA finals to be over with because now the finals just started and we're looking forward to game two. So uh, yesterday, prior to the prior to the tip off of the NBA finals, Adam Silvers was speaking to the press and he was taking a myriad of questions from them. But then one reporter stepped up and asked him, decided to ask him about the pending situation with John Moran in terms of his suspension, because no one really knows. Uh, what his suspension is going to be moving forward. So when um, NBA Commissioner Adam Silvers decided to, uh, you know, um, respond to the question, he said something that frankly surprised me, which was they actually discovered even more information. So what we want to do is want to play exactly uh, what um, Adam Silvers had to say here about John Morant. And then we're going to really come back and get into this video. So take a listen to that. Adam, there's another investigation involving John Morant and can you update us on where you are on the timeline, when you expect it to end? And since there seems to be not a lot of precedent for this situation, how do you assess what kind of punishment to deliver if indeed there is a punishment here? So in, in, in assessing um, what discipline is appropriate, if that's the case, um, we look at both the history of prior acts, but then we look at the individual player's history as well. And so th that, and, and the seriousness, of course, of the conduct. So those are all things that get factored. Um, it's, it's not an exact science. It comes down to judgment at the end of the day um, on the part of me and my colleagues in the league office. In terms of the timing, um, we've uncovered a fair amount um, of additional information. I think since I was still asked about the situation, I would say we probably could have brought it to a head now, but we made the decision, and I, and I believe the Players Association agrees with us, that it would be unfair to these players and these teams um, in the middle of the series to announce the results of that investigation. And given that we're, of course, in the offseason, he has now been suspended um, by, his, by the Memphis Grizzlies indefinitely, and so nothing is, would have changed anyway in the next few weeks. I, it, it seemed better to park um, that at the moment, at least any public announcement. And my sense now is that shortly after the conclusion of the finals, we, we will announce the outcome of that investigation. So you heard what Adam Silvers had to say. <sighs> Number one, he said they will not um, release a decision until the NBA finals is over, which I think is a good move because I think it overshadows the NBA finals. So that's a smart thing. The second thing he said that stood out to me was they found some more information and that bit of information that, that, that gave me cause to pause. So I'm like, well, what else don't, what else, what is it? What else? Uh, what, what's, what, what is it that we don't know? Right. What is it that we don't know? Now I'm not hundred percent sure that the NBA is going to release his findings. Maybe this may be something handled internally and communicated to John Morant, the Memphis Grizzlies and his camp. But what I do think obviously will be uh, what will be made public is his suspension. Now, some people are speculating that this suspension is going to be very, very severe. 